Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, rectors, professors, friends, brothers, and sisters. It's always a great pleasure to see the transition from academics into practice. And my hope today is that for those of you who are graduating, that you are graduating from the classroom of the academic cycle into the continuation of learning in the classrooms of life. It is indeed a great honor to also welcome the incoming students. As you step into this very important arena, I know you did not do that without considering the fact that you're stepping into a very turbulent sector, but a sector that is so much needed if we're going to have a world that we dream of. Now, I stand before you as both a laureate of the Right Livelihood Foundation and somebody who is deeply immersed in the Right Livelihood College system. And today, I'm particularly honored to applaud the cooperation that is being started between the Global Campus and the Right Livelihood Foundation. I believe it's a cooperation that has been, that is so much needed in today's world. The Right Livelihood Foundation just announced the set of winner laureates for, for this year. And this brings to 178 the number of laureates from 70 countries who have been receiving this award over the past 40 years. Now, this year's set of laureates underscore the fact that the award is usually made to individuals and groups working on issues that are, most, are very critical to the context of the particular year in which they are selected. And some of those who have received these laureates have not been able to come out physically to take the award because they have been restricted by imprisonment. A very good example are the Saudi activists who were laureates for 2018. And very close to me, in 1994, one of Nigeria's foremost environmental and minority rights activists, Ken Sarawiwa, received the award while in prison. And the following year, he was executed by the Nigerian state without ever stepping out to even see what the diploma looks like. But this has not stopped anyone from continuing to fight for the rights of both humans and other beings, visible and invisible. And this year we have, I would just like to point out who the winners for this year, the laureates for this year, this year are. Number one is Aminatu Haida from Western Sahara, very courageous woman who is in fighting for self-determination for her people and for decolonization of Western Sahara, something that we should not have anywhere in the world in this day and age. We also have the lawyer, Guo Jianemi, from China, who's been working relentlessly for the rights of women in that country. And of course, the teenage Greta Thunberg, whose role in inspiring conversations and debates and actions on climate change is so clearly known by everyone in the world today. And then we have the fourth laureate, Devi Kopenawa, who's from Brazil, been fighting for the rights of his community who reside in the Amazon. And you all know that Amazon forest has been threatened by interests who would rather see it go up in flames than see communities thrive in that territory. Now, the Right Level College is a global capacity building initiative of the Right Level Foundation, and it was founded in 2009, and now has nine campuses, one of which is in Nigeria, and the second one in Africa is in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Now, the campus in Nigeria, in Port Harcourt, Nigeria, deals with many of the complex issues of environmental degradation, human rights abuses, which all occur in the intersection between profit and activities, irresponsible activities of transnational oil corporations 
who don't see the people or the environment as worth preserving, but whom some of us support without asking really what is happening at the other end of the pipeline. Now, the anchor of our work is a fusion between action and activism. And as the space for social activism closes, Right Livelihood Foundation laureates continue to press forward through their actions and activities to widen that space. And we, our hope is, and our encouragement come from the fact that when one person stands to fight, others would likely join the fight, and together we are stronger. And so, permit me to congratulate you one more time, the incoming students and those who are leaving, and also the faculty of the global campus. Uh, the arena into which you operate, and which some of us also practice, is one in which we insist that human rights and child rights are inalienable rights. But we also understand that human rights and child rights would not be available in a dead planet. And therefore, we have the interest to all stand up for the rights of Mother Earth, for the right of all beings, both human and non humans. The cooperation that we're going to share, beginning to share, is very important at this moment in history. And we believe that the organic relationship that we are already experiencing between the Right Livelihood Foundation and the college established in 2009, extended to the Global College, will bring about a new momentum towards ensuring that we press forward with demand for the rights, working with institutions like the EU, United Nations, ensuring that that glass stay, that staircase linking the floor to the cupola is not only protected, but kept accessible. So our cooperation will position us to look forward, and we will continue to fight for enjoyment of the rights enshrined in the UN Child Rights Convention of 1989, and to learn from what young people are doing today. For example, Greta Thunberg and some other young people have just pressed forward to demanding that the rights that have been declared are not just only respected, but young people must be a part of the decision making and a part of making it happen. Finally, I know you're waiting for me to say finally. <laughs> I take courage by seeing young people and old, older people coming year after year to receive the instruments of practicing as human rights activists and defenders. This gives some of us the courage also because as we go in the field facing monsters that don't care about humans, that care only about profit, where we know that there are other people with skill, with all the tools to defend us, it helps us to press forward. And so we're all together in this endeavor. And I want to congratulate you deeply and to wish you the very best in your struggles. My prayer for you is that the sun will remain soft on your face and that the wind will be gentle on your back. Congratulations. <laughs>